This is my second mukbang video and I thought I'd show you what I eat whilst I'm doing a vegan mukbang with my one meal a day diet. And yeah, I don't think there's many other people out there doing one meal a day mukbangs, but yeah, I feel very excited to be making these and I'm gonna be doing them on a regular basis. If you'd like me to make more of them, then let me know. So yeah, I've been fasting around 22 hours on water only since yesterday. And yeah, we've got a whole selection of different things here from, let's see, um, this one is first from Orion. And what we have here is a yogi bowl which has got quinoa, tahini, pumpkin, carrot, broccoli, and green beans. Quite, quite healthy, that one. And then I also went to Agama and we've got this vegan burger here with some fried um, sweet potato, I think it is, and this has got lettuce in the gluten free bread. This one, all vegan, 100% vegan. Um, and then we've got this apple and walnut cake. Oh, I absolutely love this. So you've got a good selection of sweet stuff and not. Um, and then we have here vegan burrito. No animals hurt in the process of having that. And then we've got another one here as well. We've also got some durian ice cream. Durian is known as the world's smelliest fruit. I've never tried this before, so I'm looking forward to this. And we also have a gluten-free buckwheat cacao blueberry muffin. And this was from somewhere else. I can't remember the name, but I'll put a link down below for it. And yeah, these were from a different place, a vegetarian stall in Thong Sala in Koh Phangan, Thailand, where I live. And then coconut water. And I'm actually going to break the fast of the coconut water first. And this stuff is amazing. Mm, super, super sweet. And yeah, I've just done some running before and I was at the infrared sort of four, so I'm quite hot and this is quite cold, so yeah. Mm. Oh man. Mm, cannot beat coconut water. You may be wondering, why am I in Thailand not drinking fresh coconut water rather than store-bought? Well, the ones at the vendors, I couldn't necessarily bring it home with me because I haven't got anything to cut it with. So yeah, I've got this one, and this one is guaranteed to be sweet. Nothing added to it at all, but super, super sweet. Mm. And I let that go down for a few minutes, won't take long to leave my stomach. Don't want it to be on top of the other food. And yeah, also have something else over here which I'll talk about briefly. And yeah, I'm into health, as a lot of you know, that are already watch my channel, people that aren't, then yeah, I'm really, really into health. Um, what I have here is some Thorn Research basic nutrients as copper and iron in it, six of those, and three EPA and DHA, which is a source of omega-3, and it's made from microalgae. The reason why I take these is because so many people are nutritionally deficient and we need to be making sure everyone ought to all state of health in mind and body holistically. We need to be taking these. So yeah, I would take them with food because they are absorbed best with food and if I take the multi-nutrient supplement without food, I feel sick. So yeah. And man, this stuff. Mm, those burritos smell really, really good. Get it all that proper stay for you. Smells so good. Oh, it started to melt because I've left it out for a little while, but wow. Mmm, you smell delicious, girl. Oh, wow. I'm looking forward to you.
So that's pretty good to me. How about to you? And yeah, I'm looking forward to this feast. Like, when you only eat one meal a day, you appreciate your food so much more. So yeah, just give it a little while longer and then I have some. I'll give it all a good smell. Mmm, smell of fresh vegetables. And this cake, oh, like, it is too die for. And yeah, I eat similar foods to this every day, and look at me. I have a very, very low body fat percentage, visible abs. I don't look unhealthy at all. I have an abundance of energy. I feel amazing. No health issues. So yeah, probably one of the healthiest uh, mukbang people on YouTube. <laughs> and yeah, it's very grateful for this food. <sighs> and yeah, I love being vegan. I don't feel there's any restriction. Look at all this amazing food that I get to eat. And I want to show people that you don't have to have boring food as a vegan. You can have loads of enjoyable food. There's loads of fast food places that you can even go and get veganized food. I went to Subway for the first time yesterday while traveling in Malaysia. And it was really, really good to have vegan veggie delight without any cheese. And it was really, really good. So yeah, we're actually going to start off with the durian. Mmm. <gasps> oh, wow. Did they put some substances in here? Uh. Oh, going over my yogi bar. Because yeah, I'm feeling high from this. Wow, this is really comparable to like actual durian. And yeah, I'm in Asia and look at the amount of vegan food I've got. Mm. Let alone if you're in a Western country, veganism is becoming more and more popular. So many companies making vegan food. And yeah, I just found out it's a place that does gluten-free vegan pizza and all these other different vegan things as well. So yeah, so now we're gonna have the cacao blueberry muffin. Oh, the paper's stuck to this one. That's no good. Might be eating the paper with that one. <laughs> Free paper to eat on the food. I don't think that's got any nutrients in it. Um, yeah, that hasn't happened before. I've had this, but that's never happened. But yeah, we get it all off. That's good as well. Definitely doesn't meet the durian. And that's what seems to have to be a lot. But by a load of food, one thing just tastes amazing compared to the others, and everything else doesn't taste as good. <laughs> mm. Very, very chocolate here. Nice and soft. Yeah, sugar free as well. Mm. 
Mm, yeah, eating this way is like very childlike for me. It's like playing. It's really exciting. You get to have all this amazing food. Mm, there's some lovely raisins in that as well. Now, on to one of my favourite apple and walnut cake. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, This is so moist. Um, quite sweet, really strong apple taste. Mm. Mm. And those walnuts are good as well. Here it's a bit shiny and it tastes like sugar. I think it's coconut sugar. Yeah, it tastes really good. Man, I'm thinking about that durian ice cream. I wish that the durian ice cream combined with this. I'll do that next time. Yeah, and since I went vegan, I felt the best ever health-wise, mentally and physically, like... Just makes you feel so amazing. Oh, wow! The dried apple is covered in sugar. Mm. And I used to be one of the biggest meaties ever. I just wanted meat, 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 all the time. And cheese and dairy. But for me, I found going vegan was really, really easy. Easier than going gluten free. I found one, that's the first thing I got into health wise, what well, dietary wise, with modifying my diet. Eating like sort of standard American diets, people call it. And then went into being gluten free. It's like still eating loads of packaged processed stuff, so it's really hard to go gluten free. But I found once I went vegan, so much easier than being gluten free. Mm. And every year there's more and more companies coming out with new vegan food products. It's amazing. Even people like Ben and Jerry's, or even McDonald's do a vegan burger, I think, in Norway, if I remember correctly. And the more it's in demand, the more companies will get on board. Mm. That was good. But yeah, I'm definitely done with the non well, the sweet stuff has a lot of like, sugary stuff and uh, my body's like, nah, no more. So it's perfect timing. Cucumber, I don't want them in there, in the burger. So we're taking them out.
I don't think I'm bad. It's, mm. this one is a vegan mushroom burger. Tastes amazing to me. I just found out today there's a lot more restaurants that sell vegan food that I haven't been to. They also sell a lot of vegan burgers, so we'll be trying them out very soon. Yeah, nice moist bun, moist burger, not too dry, flavorful. It's got an amazing sauce in it. I'm not what, sure what it's made from, but. Take a supplements now. You find it weird that I don't take it for like supplements normally. But if I ever do, they just get stuck in my throat. That's what happened with food. I don't feel like I'm ever missing out by eating a vegan diet. There's so many amazing vegan foods. Work out what you're passionate about and work out a way that you can make money from it online. And I know so many people, they're not necessarily really passionate about it, but they just teach English online to students. They don't even do it through a voice course, it's just through some program that they use on their phone and type with them. If you really want to get out of your country, save up your money, move to Thailand, do some Chinese teaching, start an online business at the same time alongside it, and then you can quit the teaching long term. You can start a coaching business, a drop shipping business, affiliation business. Like so many possibilities. Most of them you don't need any money to set them up, or hardly any money. Super with barrels, you haven't lost a lot. And something that really helped me become successful is listening to other people that are very, very successful. Darren Hardy, well, Darren Hardy, Steve Chandler, even listening to stuff about Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, all these very high achievers and learning about what they did do very very similar things like just trying to work it all out on your own when there's other people that have already worked it out <coughs> like don't waste your time trying to work it yourself find out other people that achieve what you're trying to achieve and emulate them Now everything else is very very flavorful, salty. This yogi bowl is very plain. Tini isn't a very flavorful thing. And I'm eating this and my boy's like, nah. I don't want it. Yeah, it tastes far too plain to me. Sauce definitely helps a bit though. 
it's more so this um, uh, it's sweet potato not pumpkin I don't really like sweet potato so that's why I'm not enjoying it I've just realised that that is sweet potato not pumpkin so take that out Trying to get all the quinoa off. Yeah, even the carrot's not so enjoyable either. So that's a bit of a fail with that dish. Mm. So yeah. I'm not going to force myself to eat that. Because my body doesn't want it. And it's not because I'm full either. It just didn't take good. So yeah, sorry for showing you that food because I'm not eating it. But yeah. Not good. What I do is save it and I give it to someone later on or tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, that's the brilliant thing about the internet. Like, it's just opened up a whole new world since you come along. Like freedom of speech, you can create your own jobs online. You can find so many books online, have ease of access to them rather than having to go to a library. Like, you have access to pretty much any product that you want from around the world. You can book plane tickets on now, concert tickets. Possibly is endless. And yeah, I was brought up on the internet. I was around when it got like launched into this physical reality. And yeah, didn't used to be as fast as it is now though. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when we used to have dial up, it was like 56.6k. No megabytes per second internet then. When I'd use it, no one could ring the house, and my mum would get really annoyed because there was always a hog in the line. And it was so slow. All right, ridiculously slow. And people had like hard drives that are like one gigabyte in size. <laughs> Then I speed come along, everyone started downloading music and stuff and people had to like upgrade all their computers very fast and get new ones. So yeah, computer companies definitely made a lot of profit around that time. And yeah, back on the topic of food. So how many people ask vegans, where do you get your protein? 
Well, where do cows and gorillas get the protein from? Plant foods. You don't need to complete protein sources, a lot of people will tell you in the fitness and diet and health industry. That's all, you just need all the different amino acids that are the building blocks for protein within the body. So just eat a broad spectrum of foods and you'll get all of the protein that your body needs. And yeah, the rice contains a small amount of protein, so does the beans in here. These green beans, the cream bar is a really good source of protein, so is the tahini. Like, yeah, so much protein. Yeah, and I am far looking like I have a protein deficiency. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely not having issues with protein here. Yeah, and what I say is pretty much every time I go and buy food from restaurants and eat at home, I always buy more than I normally need. Because sometimes I eat it and sometimes I buy it. But yeah, I just buy more because I'm not at the restaurant. If I'm at a restaurant, I order less. And then if I need more, I buy more. But yeah, I'm not gonna not buy enough, then have to leave this recording, for example, go out and order more food. <laughs> So yeah, this is a very good meal and what I say is yeah, I'm definitely done. I could eat more, but I'll be overeating and I know when I need to start, I start overeating and not going to feel good. So yeah, we got some of the yogi bowl left in now. Half this burrito, we treat the rest of my sweet potato and the sweet potato fried things. But yeah, you know, that was a good meal. And yeah, if I'd done hardcore training yesterday, which I didn't yesterday, I would definitely be able to eat all of this. But it's all good. We can eat the rest tomorrow. I'm asking your mention is always make sure that you chew your food well. If you want to digest it well, assimilate it well and have the best digestion overall so you can go to the toilet quite easy. So yes, some people have digestive issues and one of the main reasons is they're not chewing the food, they're chewing it well, hardly chewing it, chewing it a little bit and then just swallowing it almost whole. Which is not good at all. And it used to be like that, it's like as if I was inhaling it and my bowel once like chewing my digestive issues with constipation vanished overnight. So that's it, it's the end of the video. So if you've got any questions, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I've answered your questions. If you like the video, like it down below. Give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to see this vegan mukbang with my one meal a day diet. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more mukbang vegan videos from me on a regular basis. One meal a day, informational, videos, calisthenics, workout videos, and many other videos to help you go in the direction of achieving and sustaining the body that you desire, the fitness levels, and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.